Good morning, this is John AE5X. A few weeks ago, maybe it was a couple of months ago, I posted a video comparing the receiver sensitivity of the QMX Plus transceiver to that of the Yellowcraft KX2 and the Yezu FT891. And I'll post a link to that video in the description of this one if you want to take a look at it. But at that time, I had a few questions asking, what about the Hermes Light 2? How does that compare as a receiver? Um, in terms of sensitivity with those other radios. So um, I'm set up here to look exactly at that. I'll be doing that only on 20 meters. And I'm using, just like before, the um, Tiny SA Ultra in signal generator mode. I've currently got minus 100 dBm dialed in as the output on 14.060. That's turned off at the moment. That goes into a step attenuator which currently has no attenuation dialed into it and the output of the step attenuator on the black cable goes to the antenna jack on the Hermes Light 2. So um, let's turn this output on and I should mention I'm running Thetis for Hermes Light 2. There is also a version of Thetis for the Anon radios. This one is not that. This is just for the Hermes Light 2 and 14060 minus 100 dBm should be a pretty strong signal and it is and here's what it looks like on my display let me toggle that on and off a few times okay let's uh, keep that at minus 100 coming out of the tiny SA and switch in some external attenuation we'll go down to minus 120 Notice the lag. Let me take that out. There's a bit of a lag due to this being an STR, SDR transceiver that I wouldn't have in, uh, in an analog radio. It's noticeable, but um, it doesn't affect the operation of the radio, at least to my satisfaction on CW, even at speeds up to uh, I don't know, the high 20s, maybe 30 words per minute. Okay, anyway, we're at minus 120 now. I'll toggle that on and off. You can probably hear the audio. I'll turn it up a little. Okay, minus 120 is uh, easily copyable. Let's go to minus 130. Still easy. Let me vary the frequency a little bit here. I've got the mouse. Okay, you can hear that, I'm sure. All right, let's take that out, go back to 120, and dial in an additional 20 to 140. Okay, I can hear it. Let me turn the speaker up. I can hear it. I don't know if I could copy a CW signal that week. I don't think I could. No. I can barely tell by ear. When the signal is uh, is on and off. So 140, I'm going to call that. No, we can't copy that. But 120, easily. 130, easily. All right. I'm going to, uh, the whole reason I'm doing this, besides the questions that I got when I compared the um, QMX to the other two, two radios, the other reason that I'm doing this is because I want to look at the output spectrum of the um, Hermes Light 2 on 10 meters in particular, because the advertisement on Apache Labs website for the new Anon 10E uh, mentions that the Hermes Light 2 is not uh, compliant with FCC regs regarding harmonic suppression on 10 meters. And uh, I'm going to check to see if that's true. So I'll change the lineup a bit here and we'll have a look at that. Okay, still on 20 meters. Um, the setup's a little bit differently. I'm connected to the antenna jack and this time I'm coming into Elecraft's bidirectional coupler. This can be wired in one of two ways when you build it, um, either to sample a 20 or a 30 dB output right here or here. 
and I've wired mine to um, have a 30 dB attenuated output here of what I put in at this point. And then I'm going into the external attenuator, step attenuator, and the output comes back to the tiny SA. This time the tiny SA is in the spectrum analyzer mode. And I'm on 20 meters, and uh, let me hit the tune button here. And this is the result. So it's uh, second and third harmonics are 50 plus dB down from the fundamental. Um, again, that's on 20, so let me go off camera a bit here and we will take it out of the tune mode. Go to 10 meters, CW. And let me just put this to the QRP frequency or close to it. Well, right on it. And I'll change my line up here and be back in a moment. Okay, I'm now on 10 meters on the QRP frequency and I'm transmitting right now. The tune button is blue, active, and I am transmitting at low power. I'll raise that here in a second. Again, going through the 30 dB bidirectional coupler, I need no exter external attenuation. And here is the result on 10, me 10 meters. So I'm uh, 56 dB down on the second harmonic, and I don't see any other harmonics on here. So I think that's quite good. Well, I know it is. And just for the heck of it, let me take the tune off, go back to receive mode. I'm going to do, do the same thing on 12. Um, let me go over here, 12, CW upper. And here's the result. 50 dB down on 12 meters. So, um, yeah, I think that criticism from Apache Labs is unfounded. At least that's the case here. And I uh, have pre-ordered a uh, Apache Labs 10E, and the reason that I did that was because, A, it has a higher initial output than the Hermes Light 2, and it covers 6 meters. Mainly that it covers 6 meters is the reason that I would like to have that, but Man, the Hermes Light 2, I know it doesn't say 2 on the front panel, front panel, but this is a Hermes Light 2, and it is a fantastic radio, and especially when you consider the price. Um, the low, I think it's $280 plus the case plus the low-pass filter on the output. Brings it up to around $330, $340, something like that. What a radio. It is fantastic. I love it. And I only use it for digital. I haven't used it for CW. It can be made into a Hermes Light Plus. And I've got the parts to do that, but I'm waiting until I get in a non-10E before I modify the, uh, the Hermes Light 2 into the Plus model. And then I will use it on CW. But uh, until then, it's a digital rig, and it's just a fantastic performer. I can't recommend it highly enough. Anyway, thanks for watching, and 73.